Yeah. So we are at Sundance. We are on Main Street right now, and I'm with uh, the character Omar, whose real name is Nav. Um, man. Plays Nav. Nav man. Naveen. Nav G. Nav G. Is Nav short for something? Is that your stage name? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I grew up with. Uh, kind of grew up with Nav. You know, yeah. it's Nav or, or Navi, but um, yeah, it's professionally it's Nav. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's the end of our interview. Just like talking awesome. about your That's name. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Let's, let's walk. Bye guys, thank you guys. <laughs> no way. No. So, so um, we, some questions, I guess, about the movie. You're you, you're playing this this straight edge character in the movie The Talk of Course, which right. is an adaptation of Michael Muhammad Knight's The Talk of Course, which came out in 2002. And your character is kind of one of those like really mean, angry characters. Um, so how much of an adjustment was it to for you to you know take take on this role? God, you know it was a huge adjustment. I mean, I um, honestly when I first took it on, I really didn't know what I mean how big the book was and what it meant to people. And I learned a lot about it in the, in the process when I was finding the character. And honestly, the thing that helped me the most was uh, uh, Mike Knight. I never met him until we got to, uh, to Cleveland to shoot it, and just you know he helped me write a backstory. You know, you know, and. Um, in order to get into like the straight edge mind, what I had to do was really I studied straight edge culture and Islam and whatnot, and um, I ended up having to really become a character beforehand, you know. And I, um, I I felt so bad because I ended up being very rude to cold to all these really nice people, but I ended up having to like you know walk a certain way. And he's very militant, so I had to kind of change my voice a little bit and you know stand and talk a certain way, you know. And so. Um, I really kind of became the character, really, kind of a few weeks before filming, and just so to you stay did, in that you mindset. You did it, method. Yeah, it was, it was method, really. I guess I don't like to use that term, you know, but people know, that, yeah, it is, it is method. Yeah. And just kind of just became that character before I, I um, got to Cleveland, and um, I kind of had to stay in character throughout, throughout the filming, really. But then there was times, I mean, I don't like to, talk, like to take myself too seriously, so, I mean, I definitely just kind of had a lot of bloopers, and I laughed a lot during the takes, and it doesn't seem like that on the film, but I know I laughed Were you that. Were you being straight edge while you are at, on the set? Were you drinking? I, I was. I was, actually. I uh, Well, I mean, there were times I had to relax. Yeah, no, I, I know I did drink. I shouldn't have. But, um, <laughs> I, um, no, but it, it was weird because we would end up actually at punk shows. There was one night we actually ended up at a, at a punk show by accident, and we just walked around. And I kind of stayed in character just walking around, and it was kind of weird because I had gotten so far into it where... I kind of became the guy without really knowing I was being the guy. And so, yeah, I, mean, I think people would ask me, hey, are you okay? Because I just kind of sit there and I would get angry for no reason. I would start snapping for no reason. And um, I know I think I, apparently I snapped it to my castmates for, by accident. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but, then, but no one said anything back to me. But I guess it was all right. So you got pretty ripped for this role. Yeah, I mean, I. You were kind of scary muscles. Yeah, in that yeah. Role. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't know if it was just me, hopefully, not being conceited or anything. But honestly, I started preparing for the role. When I first auditioned for it, and I didn't hear back for about a good five weeks or so that you know there, there's interest, and we shot in October. Honestly, I started preparing for it as if I had the role back in, in July. So I, I, you know, honestly, I was eating like seven meals a day. I was working out six days a week. Um, I stopped running and, and kind of too much. I mean, I would just go and just kind of do a lot of powerlifting and then just walk out, try to conserve all my calories. So. Yeah, I mean, my face grew, and I didn't notice how big my face was until I saw the premiere or something. And I like that. Is that what I really look like? I look horrible. But I'm not the pretty boy in the movie. You know, it's, that's all Dominic and Bobby guys. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was a process, a few months of just gaining, gaining weight, and um, it was about like probably 15 pounds or so. That wow, that's kind of crazy. So, yeah, yeah, and I'm about 20 pounds lighter now than the, the film. So. And um, last night was the premiere party uh, at. Star Bar on Main Street, yes. where the Cominas performed, yes. and Althara, and Filmstrip, and I saw you like jamming out front row, you know, singing along to Jolly Ke Piche Kya Hai. Jolly Ke Piche Kya Hai. Honestly, Every I mean, I, word, I, am, I, am, I am, I am really, honestly, I am, I'm as dissy as they come, you know, I grew up in a very traditional background, first generation, and so I grew up on Indian movies. Before I knew any, any American or American actors or, or films, I knew Indian actors, Indian movies, so even now, I mean, I watch Indian movies all the time, and so... Um, that's a really kind of famous song, I guess, in the mid-90s, and, um, I, yeah, I sang the, uh, all the lyrics, and I know you pointed that out yeah. to me, but <laughs> I, I asked, I asked uh, Boston, actually, I asked Boston about that, if he was going to, um, if he was going to sing that song, he didn't really say anything, and so, when he started, when I, I started, you know, hearing the beats, I knew he was going to sing it, I just kind of 